Well, I hope your day is going well today. And, you know, I realize that there are many, many challenges that we are facing as a country, as a world. Others in our lives are suffering in many, many ways. So there, there's a time of profound sadness. But also for followers of Jesus Christ, there are reasons for profound joy. So I hope you're rejoicing in your relationship with Christ. I hope you're rejoicing with the opportunity that we have to grow in our understanding and knowledge of him each and every day. Hope you're thinking about ways that we can learn about the sufferings of others and looking for ways to provide um, comfort, co-fortitude as we grow together. So these are our fascinating days for sure. Another reason we have to be thankful is just to watch the statistics, at least here in the state of Indiana and in Tippecanoe County, as they continue to go down regarding the virus. And um, I hope you continue to pray for our healthcare workers, for our government leaders, and um, also I hope you're very, very thankful for the protection that we've received um, right here in Tippecanoe County. It really is amazing and a cause for um, great rejoicing. We've been having a great time at church, and I hope for those who are continuing to watch online, I hope we're serving you well. Don't hesitate to let us know if we can serve you additionally. But for those who are continuing to come back to church, again, never any pressure on that, but um, I'm glad each week we have more and more people who are coming. We're anticipating that again this Sunday because this Sunday is Father's Day weekend. And um, I know you've been enjoying the testimonies. Um, the testimony this Sunday is really gonna be special as well. And you know, we're doing less singing right now because of the virus and we're making adjustments as we continue to listen to our medical professionals about that. But in place of some of the singing we typically do, we've been having these testimonies from our members are so marvelous. You're gonna enjoy this one on Father's Day as well. And then we're gonna dig into Genesis chapter 22. We're going to study what God's word says when that the Lord came to Abraham and he asked him to offer his own son. What an incredible passage of scripture. And the lessons there are just immense for each and every one of us. That passage is so practical and so helpful. So I wanna encourage you, would you please, um, if your time allows, uh, plan to um, read through Genesis chapter 22. Um, if you're gonna be joining us online, we look forward to, to that opportunity. If you're gonna be coming um, to one of our three campuses, please be sure that you go online and get tickets. That allows us to just be prepared for every person who is going to come. And um, then let's just be asking the Lord to help us as we think about that incredible expression of faith on the part of Abraham. And how can we especially learn about the ultimate sacrifice, that the God the Father made for us in sending his own son. What a great opportunity to think about um, the beauty of a relationship with him. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday.